Hey y'all, welcome back to the shop. Today, we're going to be working back on the tugger again. Um, in the last video we worked on it, um, I showed you that the uh, we rolled a tire off the rim. Well, I went to the Harbor Freight, found some rims that have a bigger, uh, wider bead on them. Uh, and they're also bolt together, so it um, should be easier to change them. The only drawback is, is the bearings that are in the hub, the hubs that uh, we bought at Harbor Freight are too small for the axles. Um, but I think if I measure correctly, we could take the bearings out of the, the hubs on the original wheels and drive them in and we should be good. So uh, uh, I'm going to work on getting the bearings out of the one wheel and then uh, we'll get it tore apart. One of the Harbor Freight ones tore apart. See if we can get those bearings out and get the new bearings in and uh, hopefully everything goes well good. So let's uh, Let's get this try. Let's try to get this done. All right, y'all. Um, this is the bearing out of the old one. Uh, I did drive the other one out. Um, good thing that uh, this does kind of fit down in here because I broke the other bearing. So before I put this down in, I mean, I, th I think it'll drive down in nicely. I mean, it's starting down in, so it should go. I'm going to drive the bearing out of the other side. So, uh, wish me luck, and uh, uh, get the other one out without uh, any incident, hopefully. So, Yep, just broke that one too, so. Um. Yep, there goes the other one, so. All right. Got both of those out. Let's see if we can drive this one in. Yeah, she's in there. So I just got to get the other one drove out of the uh, the hub on the other side, and uh, I think I'm gonna have to take this one apart to get it in because there's a lip in here. So uh, I'll get this one taken apart. We'll get that uh, other bearing driven in there, and uh, I think we'll be golden. So let me take care of that, and uh, we'll bring y'all right back. All right, y'all. Um, I got the tire off the old rim. Got the inner tube from the new tire in the old tire. So we're gonna see if we can't uh, get this thing bolted together now. Hopefully, I need to get everything lined up. See what I'm doing there. Hey, got that one started. I would like to have black rims, but they didn't have any. They had black ones, but they only had one of them. But, you know, this ain't too too bad to take apart. So, we can take them apart and shoot them with a little rattle can down the road.
Now, I warn y'all, when you buy these rims from the old Harbor Freight, this hardware wasn't tight. Not one bit. So, let you be forewarned. If you buy them for anything, make sure you, uh, make sure you go through and snug them up. together um, I need to fire the air compressor up and uh, see if we can get some air in there so let me do that and then we'll uh, bring you guys right back all right y'all we got some air in them tires it looks like they're gonna hold looks like they're set, seated on there pretty good it's full air so uh, let's take it over and uh, put it on the tugger see what we got all right y'all so, hey, they fit pretty nice. Um, the only, uh, only problem is, is the hub's not uh, as long as the old one. But what we can do is uh, we'll space them out. Uh, give a little bit of wider a stance. And uh, I did already go ahead and check them. It's an inch and an eighth shy. So, uh, and this is three-quarter inch uh, round here so uh, what we'll do is uh, I'll get some uh, pipe cut a piece of inch and an eighth inch and a sixteenth something like that and uh, we'll get it on there and uh, I don't know I want the valve stem on the outside so we may uh, Yeah, I don't like the way that hub sticks out like that, so we'll put that spacer on the inside, put our cotter on the outside, and we'll just make our cell wide. So, all right, well, just got the other one to take part and uh, do. All right, y'all, um, I was sitting there taking a break, and I noticed the uh, back tire on the tugger was a little flat, so I grabbed the air hose, and... Uh, Started putting air in it, and the uh, center part here come out of the uh, tire for the valve stem. So uh, yeah, so we're gonna be pulling that off, and uh, these are tubeless. So I'm going to take it to the tire shop and have them put bolt in valve stems. So uh, yeah, let me get that pulled off and. Uh, We'll get her taken to the tire shop. All right, y'all. Uh, it's been a day or so. Uh, did get the uh, big drive tire repaired. Uh, I just took it to the tire shop and uh, had them put a new uh, bolt-in valve stem in it. I've been having trouble with those little rubber valve stems uh, on that ever since I put it together. So we just decided to go ahead and do the bolt in one so all right so got the valve stem taken out of this one so now we can get her or try to get her popped up off of here and uh, I remember I made this thing to do these small tires it fits in my vice and stuff so you know hopefully we can uh, get this done relatively easy that yeah get this valve stem pushed down in and through all right now just need to dig the tube out of here come on 
tube. All right. All right. I just noticed there's a split in this sidewall right here. You guys probably can't see it, but there's a split right there. So hopefully, you know, we're being, you know, we're running tubes. Hopefully, on the new rims, they'll be, it'll be okay. So I don't know. We're gonna try. Ain't no going back now. Yeah, I know I'm doing it the wrong way. I'm supposed to do it from the inside, but it'll be all right. got her so all right I'm gonna get this one off here and uh, this one off here get the uh, bearings driven out of it and uh, we'll get the uh, Harbor Freight Ram over here get it tore apart try to get things reassembled so we'll bring y'all back when we get that done all right y'all got that other other run apart got this tire here in so, we're going to try, maybe, and get this thing put together. I might put her in the vise to squeeze it. Please don't squeeze the Sherman. you guys but it is what it is all right got one started there opposite one next I put that one in backwards I want the nuts on the inside you guys like looking at my armpit Part. Put it in facing the right direction, maybe. There we go. Huh. Ring the bell, school's in. All right. 
right. Two more bolts. We got her whooped. There's that one, one more. Hey, look at that one went right in. That one's always the easiest, right? Okay, I'm gonna grab my impact, get that tightened up, get a little air in it, and uh, we'll start slapping them on the uh, tugger. All right, y'all, let's get this uh, tire back, back on the back here. And that way we can uh, We can get the front end pulled around and uh, we can get it jacked up and get those old tires off or the backup tires off and get the luggies put on. So uh, let me get the camera turned around here and we'll get that going. All right, y'all. Pop these off here. Not to knock it off the the uh, jack. All right. Ooh. Hey now. There we go. All right. Washer there. Oh, we need the bearing. Or this one. I did make spacers up. Hopefully they're the right length. Go in there. Oh yeah. That's gonna be nice. thing is, is we won't be able to run our center caps because there's nothing to stick the center cap to. So, it is what it is, y'all. I gotta get Tucker going, so. Alright. Yeah, a little crooked, but it'll be alright. So, We'll go over here and do the other side now.
should come down off the jack. All right, y'all. I'm going to get this jack back up. And we'll bring you guys back uh, in a few. All right, y'all. Got the wheels back on. Got the everything sitting back down on. I don't think I like that stance, the way they're setting out like that. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is uh, I'll flip them around. Um, well, not flip them around. Take the wheel off. Take that spacer. Put the wheel all the way in. Put the spacer on the outside. Um, and then uh, do it that way. Um, I, I don't like, I just don't like the way it's sitting out there like that. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to do that off camera. You guys don't need to hang out with me to do that. Um, so, uh, yeah, everything, back tires are on and everything's holding air. So we're, uh, we're ready to tug. So, all right. All right, y'all. That's going to do it for this video. Um, thanks for hanging out with me in the shop here while I worked on the little tugger. Um, hopefully it'll be good for the rest of the season. Um, maybe over the winter we'll look for some, you know, fancier, better wheels. Or when we build 2.0, um, maybe we'll get some different fancier wheels or something for it. I don't know. Um, just kind of throwing ideas or whatever out there. Um, but, uh, yeah. Oh, and the reason I'm building 2.0, I love the little tugger. Uh, that engine on there will only run at one speed. Uh, it's off of a push mower. It is electric start, but it is off a push mower. So it's just governed at one speed. Um, I can't see a good way to hook a throttle up on it. I did pick up another uh, engine this spring. Uh, I was going to do an engine swap on it and then change my mind because I got this, uh, this other frame and stuff here. And it has a throttle on it where you can adjust it from a, you know, just a putt idle up to, you know, like 3,500 RPMs. Uh, and it is electric start. So uh, the only thing I need is the drive disc, the flat metal drive disc that goes on the motor for the snappers. Uh, this frame did not come with one. And uh, it had a running engine on it, uh, but the guy took it off didn't take the disc off because it wouldn't just slide off. And when I checked on it, to see if I could get it, uh, he basically destroyed it, uh, getting it off. So, um, yeah, I got to find one of those. Uh, I may end up making it. Uh, it's just a round disc, flat steel. Um, wouldn't be any big deal to, to make one up. Um, so, yeah, uh, that's it. Um, I got to get plan B ready for the poles this weekend. Uh, we're pulling down a hallway again. Um, Turned out to be a really nice track down there. Um, I don't mind the couple hour drive down there. It's, you know, kind of scenic, uh, kind of relaxing. A little long on the way home at 2 o'clock in the morning, but, you know, no big deal. You know, sleep's overrated. So, anyways, appreciate you all watching. And uh, if you would, hit that like button. New to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Uh, we just hit the uh, 4,200 subscriber mark. So, we're gaining. Uh, we're getting there, slowly but surely roughly 90 to 100 a month um and uh yeah if you're watching this video and you're not subscribed subscribe over 60 percent of the people that watch these videos are not subscribed it's free i promise you it's free um you know you won't get charged ever um just hit the little subscribe button and there'll be a little bell there hit all notifications that way you get to know get to notified when you know we put a video out. So, anyways, I'm rambling. Thank you all for watching. Uh, we'll catch you all on the next one.